Among the first donations to the new Museum of the Confederacy in 1893 was a beautiful blue silk presentation flag that had been carried by the Company E of the 30th Virginia Infantry, Caroline Grays. The silk flag was given to the museum by surviving veterans of the regiment and had been carried proudly th through the first months of the war. The museum cared for the flag over the next more than 100 years but sadly, the beautiful oil and silk painted flag fell to pieces, which is all too common with flags from the Civil War era. In 2010, we were fortunate to find a sponsor for the flag who was able to pay for it to be fully conserved and restore it to its former glory. The obverse of the flag features a stunning Virginia State seal, but the reverse is believed to be a truly unique portrait among Civil War era battle flags. It features a portrait of the company on parade, seeming to march out of the flag with, with two musicians, the company commander, and an angel flying overhead. In the center, the company appears to carry a Virginia state flag that seems to be a portrait of the very flag that it's painted upon. Conservators begin by providing a treatment proposal which outlines what they would like to do to the flag to make sure that it is okay with, with museum curators and also provide a cost estimate. This flag, due to its extremely deteriorated condition, was estimated to come in at over $20,000. Once the flag was delivered to the conservators in March of 2010, they began by carefully documenting the flag's current condition at the time that it arrived. And then they very carefully cleaned the flag after testing to ensure that it was, in fact, color fat. After cleaning, the conservators very carefully sorted out all of the fragments which had become loose from the flag and then arranged them back together, kind of like a big jigsaw puzzle. After assembling the pieces, the conservators could see several large areas of loss, which would look a lot better if an art conservator did some in-painting on heavy Japanese paper to visually fill in for those missing areas. The idea is not to exactly replicate what the flag would have looked like, but to make it appear more pleasing to the eye without interfering with the integrity of the flag. The Japanese paper and the loose fragments of the flag were then held in place by using stable text, which is a synthetic silk that conservators can dye to precisely match the original color of the flag. Once the stable text and the in painting have been applied and the flag is secure, it is placed onto a padded backing, which is then inserted into a frame, which has UV filtering plexiglass. The idea behind these two materials are that they work in tandem to provide full support over every square inch of the flag. To date, the museum has conserved nearly 55 flags out of its collection of approximately 550 wartime flags giving us a very impressive 10% of all of our flags that have been conserved. This is truly an amazing accomplishment and would not have been possible without contributions from our members and from granting organizations. If you would like to help restore any of these banners or to make a contribution to the General Flag Conservation Fund, you can do so from the museum's Flag Conservation Program webpage.